222 days ago on Friday, December 9th, the Bulldogs hosted Denver in what would be UMD forward Blake Biondi's last game of the 2022-23 season. Fast forward 20 days later, and it was reported Biondi underwent not one, but two shoulder surgeries, paving the way for a very long road to recovery. Well, we caught up with Biondi this past week to discuss what has been his longest offseason. Let's rewind back to, you know, Denver series. I remember, I remember talking to you, like, that was the intermission break. Oh, and, you know, flex on the shoulder. I was like, are you good? And, you know, you gave me the hot, yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't see you come out. Um, can you just take me back to, you know, that time for you and when you found out that shoulders weren't too good? Um, yeah, that Denver series was obviously uh, when the, the right one came out and just wanted to keep playing. But, you know, that was, that was when the trainers and shut it down. And, and obviously the right decision just because I uh, wasn't going to be able to do it. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, that, that left shoulder was nagging me too. And that was kind of from the, the playoff run we had the year before. And just uh, never really fully, uh, you know, I rehabbed it well in the summer. Just ended up not, not feeling great in uh, the start of the season uh, from last season. So is what it is, but uh, yeah, fully healthy now, so I feel really good. You said that that left shoulder was, was, was nagging you at the end of the year before, and then, you know, junior year, you know, the job line, everybody calls it, the expectations were insane, but obviously it wasn't as, it didn't go as well as you hoped. Was the left shoulder a big reason why? Yeah, I think uh, some part of it, obviously, you know, it's that mental aspect of knowing, hey, you know, and not fully healthy, it's kind of just in the back of your mind, but, um, same time, you know, you just, you got to come to work and, you know, it's, college hockey is just not easy. Like, obviously, my sophomore season was good and then, you know, Quinn and Dom had a, had a great season with me there and we just, we were, we were, everything was flowing and clicking and it obviously didn't start out that way last year. So, for us, I think we just, uh, we just had to figure out, like, hey, it's, it's, this isn't easy and it's, it comes with work. So, your off season, what, what got you through those, you know, days when you didn't, you know, want to get up or it was just, all right. I gotta do this. I gotta get this done. What brought you through those, you know, those tough days? Uh, first, I just think knowing, like, hey, I'm not gonna play a game for a long time. And I, you know, this this season was obviously not what you want from uh, just the on ice aspect of things. So for me, it was like, no shot. I'm gonna let anything up for grabs. I'm just gonna do everything I can to make sure I'm feeling my best and. Uh, physically and mentally and and thankfully I had one of my best friends Kyler Clevin he went through the same same thing at the beginning of the year with his uh, one of his shoulders and had surgery and um, so for me it was great to have him we him and I pushed each other really hard and I think it was super beneficial for both of us because obviously you know once like you're saying those mornings when you're like oh, geez we gotta do this again it's like well hey, he's doing it so I'm doing it and we push each other so that was big for both of us. And I mean, looking at you, you haven't—you look like you haven't taken any day, any days off in the off season. So, are you feeling stronger? Yeah. You feel really good. I mean, yeah, shoulders just feel the best they felt probably, and I don't know how how long, honestly. So, um, yeah, definitely great to have you know the surgeries and and just rehab with the team here has just been fantastic. You're not alone in this off season. We talked like all the Hermantown kids they come back and you know you got that good mix of you know the young kids, college kids, then you have pros. So on those like days where you're just it's not even about hockey it's just you guys are hanging out like what does that do for you like mentally as you know you're just grinding through so much it's great to have those guys that's those are the guys you know I think a lot of guys the reason we do it you know where we got our best friends around us and obviously we love the game of hockey more than more than anything but um, those are the guys that you know you just love to hang around and you, you leave the rink and and, uh, and the gym and those are the guys you hang out with um, ex Hermantown guys like like Neil Pionk and Carson Kuhlman Andy Walensky uh, those are just guys that you know can push you and you see what they do and they hold themselves to such a high standard it's it's uh, just great to be around you're staying at home um, so what's you know how's it been having your family there with you because I mean you have your teammates your friends I mean they're basically your brothers but then yeah. like you have your home bases with you and yeah. you know helping you get through these tough times no absolutely uh, f yeah for me family just been just been huge you know been through a lot this past past you know year here with, with a lot of different things um, so for me just being with my with my family has just been huge and and knowing that they're there for me to support me no matter what and I'm there to support them and um, yeah my, my sisters and parents and cousins and grandparents just everything everything's been just we've been close and we've, we've grown together so for me it's yeah it's been huge Blake credited the training staff for a great job that they did. They also, a word I heard a lot when I was talking to him was hunger. That team is hungry. There are, no, they have to prove that last year was a fluke. That mm -hmm. team is, yeah. they were in the gym working Excited out. When they, yeah, they're, they're, they're hungry. That's the word I heard a lot. Yeah. Nice interview. Can't wait to see him back on the ice. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Kev.